you, bro. So what, what led you to this moment, right? Like this place, this journey, uh, where we are right now. So you've been in Florida from from the time you left that church that you said uh, gave you the affirmation about Abraham. What led you to this journey where we are right now? Man, God, man, God led us here. Um, just a series of events, you know, mm -hmm. paying attention. Uh, if we when we give God our attention, He'll He'll lead us and He'll direct us. And so, from 2012 to me praying in the Orlando airport to 2000. And 20 me leaving the columbus police department it was literally just our obedience yeah. um being here that god began to start opening doors and giving us favor uh, with the building that we were at i think were you at did you ever come to university mall yeah we we're at university yeah. mall. remember i have I had, my, I had my daughter with me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were at university mall and uh yeah that's right yeah. 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 yeah yeah we had it we had a university mall and um and then the lord opened this door for us to be here at Crest Community, and we're still believing for our own building. So, what was funny about that is, uh, <laughs> we first went to your church in, in in the University Mall, and had my sons with me. And they were like, "What are we doing? We the church on Saturday? Like, why are we?" I was like, "Yeah, come on, come on, this we're going up here." So they went to the back room where your kids was at, and they went in there, and they. Your kids and my kids, we just they looked at each other like, you got big. No, you got big. And it was <laughs> yeah. funny. So my son always asked, like, yo, can we go back to the church where the dudes, when we was from Ohio? Yeah. Like, you know, that's, so, that's funny. And that's it. Because, you know. Because they haven't seen each other in a while. For so a while. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, all right. That, that's what's up, man. So uh, can you share some ideas, goals, um, you know, that was like special significance to you that you want to accomplish? I mean, you know, like now being a, a, a shepherd of your own church. Yeah. For example, um, I would say, you know, one one thing I would like to accomplish one is to be able to have our own building that mm -hmm. is more than a church, but a, a facility that yeah. the, the community can come. Yeah. Um, and Similar to, to what we had back home in Ohio. Yeah. 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 You know, a, a place where, you know, I would, you know, my dream is to have a church with a uh, full time school yeah. is what we what we what we're planning on on doing. A full time a coffee shop yeah, where yeah. people can come, a full cop, really kind of like this, yeah, you know, an sure. uh, area where people can come and there, there'll be a podcast studio, there's mm -hmm. office spaces that people can come and work in, but really kind of develop something where the community can come, whether Christian or not Christian, yeah. um, during the week. And then obviously have our services on Sundays. But then also, too, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. um, to become a philanthropist so that. I can help create opportunity for other people, yeah. uh, employment opportunities for people, help other people dream, help other people who have entrepreneurial desires yeah, yeah. Uh, to have generational wealth um, and stuff like that. Train people, help people, raise that's people up. And that's my heart, man. My heart is to, to help people scale up yeah, yeah. and help people realize that they're, that they're worth more than what they have been doing currently. Most definitely. You know? 